G'day, Dylan from the Byron Bay Observatory here and we just need to have a quick talk about this reflect orbital sunlight during the night. We are putting reflector satellites in space to shine sunlight onto solar farms after dark. You might have seen it, you might not have, uh, this idea about reflecting light back onto the earth during nighttime hours using mirrors on satellites. Uh, I got this sent to me by a few people who uh, expressed absolute horror, which I completely understand. I saw this and I had the same reaction. But I don't think there's anything to worry about, and I'll tell you why. My name is Dylan O'Donnell, and you're watching Star Stuff. Check this out. What do you got? Uh, looks like Reflect Orbital has a new lighting service. Where you can like play with the spot, oh, but awesome. uh, yeah, watch this. Just bring it over to us here. It's not crazy. No way. Now this is clearly fake, and I called out Ben a little on Twitter here, and he never responded. But the fact is, I've seen brighter street lights than whatever that is, and this is clearly a staged video to generate media interest. But the media interest in this company actually started in 2022. And that's about how long Ben Noack is listed as the CEO or founder of Reflect Orbital on his LinkedIn. But it didn't used to be called Reflect Orbital, it used to be called Tons of Mirrors. And a lot of the media that was citing this initial article, Vice, Futurism, Interesting Engineering, and all the other outlets that picked up the story initially, always refer to this guy as an ex-SpaceX engineer. But let's be real, he was an unpaid intern at SpaceX. The work experience boy. And he seems like a nice guy, like he's a YouTuber, he has a YouTube channel. Um, I watched one of his videos, I think he was talking about going to night college and it taking a long time. And he actually says he's not certified on his YouTube about information. But on LinkedIn he says he finished that degree, so maybe he is a legitimate engineer, I don't know. Uh, however, it does seem like this company. This is the startup process with, where you come up with an idea like Shark Tank style and try and sell it to investors and raise some money. And what I think has happened here is that Ben went from his college and SpaceX internship into a number of startups, one of which is dead already, before he decided to go out and incubate his own. And the initial media buzz and attention he got allowed him to raise some money and he spent that money on doing a hot air balloon test on his YouTube channel. He also spent that money on a flashy website and he tried to make this viral video which is not going very viral because the idea of shining light where light shouldn't be at night is offensive to a lot of astronomers. Uh, let's just say it's not garnering a lot of support in the astronomy community. But obviously there's lots of questions that this raises and how can this be viable and honestly I don't think it is. I think what we're seeing here is a typical vaporware startup idea that won't get off the ground unless it raises enough capital to do so and he's in that capital and media awareness raising kind of stage of the timeline. Personally I don't think this has any commercial chance of success, thank god. For starters the Russians tried to do this four times and failed every time either because of technical issues trying to get it off the ground but also the working prototype that they did get working on the Mir space station which was a 23 meter mirror could only generate five to ten times the brightness of the full moon. Not that bright. Certainly not bright enough to generate energy. Now they reckon they've got some secret source in the mirror design that can maybe improve that. I have my doubts. Smarter people than me can debunk that side of things. But there's the obvious things like the scalability of the project. Even if you've got 50 satellites up in orbit, they're around the world and then you have to timeshare those so you can only pinpoint one patch of light at a time per satellite, it's not really a scalable solution for the millions or billions it will cost to get that many satellites up in space with your fancy mirrors. Now it's scary enough that Elon Musk has the Starlink constellation, China has a, their, their constellation going up, there are more private constellations going up and all of this contributes to the overall light pollution profile of the night sky. But the fact that there is a private startup trying to raise money to do this to make the problem even worse is kind of offensive. It's offensive to me as an astronomer, but to anyone. If my neighbor wanted to order sunlight over our house over night time, I'd have things to say. The idea itself has merit. If it didn't have merit, the Russians wouldn't have tried to do it in the first place. And surely there is some scientific merit in trying to adapt a mirror 
and to work this project as a technical accomplishment and what we could learn from it. But to sell it as some sort of private industry revenue raising idea, I think is fairly naive, especially because the solar energy industry is really in its infancy right now. You look at somewhere like Australia, where most of our sunlight is wasted during the day. The easy, low hanging fruit here is to simply put more solar panels on roofs for the daylight sun. There, there is no world in which we need to start going to satellite directed light before we actually finish harnessing the light that we have all day, every day. We don't live in some future dystopia where we actually need that nighttime sun as well. At least, not yet. But what do you think about this ridiculous idea? No shade on Ben. I don't like shitting on a, another YouTuber. I really didn't want to make this video because if anything, it just draws more attention to the whole company and the startup idea. And they have a, a lot of media attention anyway, and I don't really want to add to it, but we needed to talk about it. I think it's silly and I think it will fail. And if you're an investor, don't put any money into this. There are far more legitimate projects that won't squander your money on weird pipe dreams. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you've been watching Star Stuff and remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die.